Hello everyone! In this demo, I'm going to walk you through the Schema Designer feature in the MS SQL extension for VS Code. If you haven't seen it before, this feature provides an interactive visual database diagram right inside VS Code. And just a note before we begin, Schema Designer is currently in public preview, so some features might evolve over time. All right, let's get started by launching the Schema Designer. First, make sure you have the MS SQL extension installed in your VS Code and that you're connected to a SQL database. And over in the Object Explorer panel, I'll right click on my target database. From the context menu, I'll select Design Schema Preview. And when I do that, VS Code opens a new tab. And in the moment, I'll see a visual diagram representing the database schema. In this diagram, each table is represented as a box, and lines between boxes indicate any relationships. Within each table box, you will see the schema name and the table name at the top, followed by a list of columns with their data types. The primary key columns are marked with a small key icon so you can easily identify them. Now, navigating the diagram is straightforward. You can click and drag on the canvas to pan around or zoom in and out. For larger diagrams, there's also a mini map in the corner to help you quickly jump to different parts of your schema. If you're trying to find a specific table, you can hit Ctrl F. In the search box, just type part of the table name and the diagram will highlight and zoom to that table for you. You can also hit filter to filter which tables are visible. This is handy when working on a specific section of your database. Another cool thing you can do is to manually move tables around on the canvas and customize your own diagram layout. If the layout ever gets a bit messy, there is an auto arrange button you can click to reposition all the tables. Now I have a good understanding of my schema and relationships, and let's try adding a new table. I'm going to name my new table as payments. And then next, I'll add a few columns. The sales order ID, which I'll set as an int and mark it as the primary key. And then there's the payment ID as well as amount, which I'll set it to a decimal. You can also adjust additional properties here as well, like whether a column allows null, length, default values, and all of that. And once I'm done, I'm going to go back and click the Add button at the bottom. And just like that, the new payments table appears on the diagram complete with all its columns listed. I'm going to go ahead and drag it near the Sales Order Detail table to keep things organized. And say that I forgot to add something. I can go back and edit an existing table by clicking the pencil icon. And the Table Editor panel will open up again and here I'm going to add a new column called Payment Date. Next up, let's create a relationship between the two tables by selecting Manage Relationship. In this side panel, I'll select Sales Order Header as the new target table. And for the columns, it have already auto-selected the Sales Order ID columns. I can give this foreign key a name or just let, let use the default. After I save this and back in the diagram, you'll now see an arrow from the payments table to the sales order header table, indicating a new relationship. Alternatively, if you prefer a quicker method, you can also create relationships by dragging from a column in one table to another table. While we've been making these changes, the schema designer has actually been generating SQL code in the background. If you want to check it, you can click the, the View Code button in the toolbar. It looks like a little code icon and opens up a panel at the bottom showing the T-SQL script representing all your database changes. And you can open this up in a new query editor. Now it's time to actually publish our changes. Until now, everything we've done has only existed in this design session. To apply the changes to the database, I'll click the Publish Changes button. The extension will compare my diagram design to the current database and generates a change script for me. Now you see that it's generating a report. 
Once the report has been loaded, I can now see the difference between my diagram design and the current database. I'll then confirm to proceed, and VS Code will execute the necessary SQL commands to apply all those changes. Once it's done, I can refresh the Object Explorer to see the new payments table and verify that the foreign key between payments and orders detail header is in place. Before we finish, one last feature to mention is export. If you want to share the visual schema with your team or include it in documentation, you can click this button and export this diagram as SVG, PNG, or JPEG. And that wraps up our demo. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll give the schema designer a try in the MS SQL extension for VS Code.